Hello, Hello Country Players. Players. Ben, ben Heron here. here. We're here we're at Wellington's Western, Western Suburbs, Suburbs Club. Club. Today's session, catch the pass. Okay, Jim, we're going to go now. Uh, who knows the classic drill? You know, you probably all start your trainings with four in a line and four on the other side, and you run through. What are we trying to do when we, when we do that drill? Straight. Learn to run straight. Good one. Why is that important? If you, run sideways, if you run sideways, you'll get smashed. Yeah, you could. If you run sideways, you also give the people outside you less space to work with, and you don't actually hold a defender, do you? No, excellent things. What's something else we, we might want to be doing in that drill? Calling. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, that, that continues. Every time we do a passing drill, fellas, name and action. Keep that going. Okay, creates a good mood. If I can hear you, I can almost throw it before you're there. Okay, so gentlemen, we're going to go and do classic hands drill. There's four uh, blue cones over there. Can we have uh, three on each facing this way? And I'll put four out facing them. We all know the drill, don't we? Pass, pass, pass. This person passes to this person. That four goes. So coach, we've just started. This is the classic. <laughs> Probably done in every cup across the world. We've just let these boys go and then we're going to go see what we can prove to the main character. For example, we're going to put the ball on the fingers on top of his officer. If that's a real game, we have no time to do that. Let's have a look there. See how much space got eaten up. Okay, gentlemen, on that last group there, where did the second to last person throw that pass? Where were you when you passed that pass? Yeah, about here. What would happen in the game if, if this man was to pass this ball here? You'd probably be tackled. What I was seeing a little bit happen was as soon as this man went, we all went together, and it was catch, 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 and the last ball, second last person was right on top of the defense. So I'd like to make a little adjustment now. See this line that's in the middle here? Everybody has to pass on that line, but not past it. Okay, so you have to be up here when you pass, but you're not allowed to catch the ball past the line. So what does that mean you have to do when you wait for that ball? Time your run. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, stop. That group, could we have held our depth any longer in the middle? Yeah, do you think they could have? Yep, okay. So now, gentlemen, I just want to over-exaggerate this. Could the person behind... Just hold on to this guy's shirt and only let it go when you see the ball coming in here. Okay, so what does that mean with your pass? Deeper. Okay, I want to see it. that guy not leave until that ball's in here. What happened to the talk at the end? He needed you. We're just creeping, aren't we? We're still catching at that ball on the line and having to get it away quickly. Guys holding on the back, hold for even longer now. Longer than you think. Hands up, hands up, hands up. That's better. Hands up, hands up, talking. As you can see, coaches, there's still a little bit of uh, stuttering. People aren't catching on the run and then passing on the run. Sort of holding up at that line, stopping, and we'll, we'll address that now. So. Okay, gentlemen, let's hold up. How's that going for people? Are we getting it? Are we making clean passes before that line every time? Uh, I think we're a bit of a mixture. I'll, I'll check the camera, but I'm pretty sure it's a mixture. Okay, so we're just going to go for one more dash for us. I want these guys just to be really ruthless on holding and holding and holding. I'm not, I see a few people, we've just dropped our hands again and we're catching here. What happens if I catch the ball here? What do I have to do now? I have to probably take, yeah, take a step. Okay, so if we control our feet by taking smaller steps on this little channel, we should be able to get that ball all the way to the end easy. Let's go, control those feet. Keep running, keep running. Quick, quick, quick. Go on, go on, go on. 
Okay, Go. gentlemen, I want to see now if you guys can get it to the end without someone being influenced. Craig's going to stand on the purple cone. Everyone else can please stand on these six cones. Whichever way I pass, if I pass you, you are attacking. The first two are defending, okay? And you're only defending on the first and second person. So if these guys could do quick hands, that guy should just go. Okay, what did we forget to do? Call, oh, that's right. Uh, good example there where we just uh, held the ball at the first receiver for a long time and then uh, it just meant the rest of the guys were under pressure. Okay, ready? What do we have to do to get it to the end of this line? Quick passes, how do we help? Yeah, them? Hands up, calling names out, okay? In terms of our depth, what should we be doing at the second and third receiver? Okay. Let's have a look at that. Hold our depth a little bit, fellas. Hands up, lots of talking. Okay. okay, hold up here, fellas. What happens in that example there? We come out at the same time as me. When do I have to pass it? You have to know, I have to pass it right now. If I choose to wait for a second, you're going to be now in front of me. Right? So in that last example, there, we were really flat. We need to have patience you know, just to hold that depth. If I need to just do a dummy and then pass, if you're holding your depth, you can always run onto that ball still. If you're flat with me, I pretty much have to pass now, otherwise you're going to be in front of me. And I haven't had a chance to see that in front of me. Okay, gentlemen, this side, ready. Hands quick. That's better, gentlemen. Well done. Okay, this side, coaches, this is uh, also a, a, a game to switch on your thing. <laughs> it's quite hard to do at times. Good stuff, fellas. Keep holding your dip like a staircase. Nice, good reaction attack. Good reaction. Okay, gentlemen, can we take this one ball and just jog down to the end of the field in a nice tight group, keeping it off the ground? Coach, we've just sent the players for a jog around the post. They're just a bit of quiet time just to refocus themselves and probably me. It's going to happen with kids these age, so just um, it's good. Give them a little time away, reset, refocus. Okay, gentlemen, we're going to now combine that all in with our game of rugby netball. We're now it's not going to be rugby netball, it's just going to be sort of rugby netball with running. Okay, so you can run with the ball. That's the end of our starter coach series on the catch and pass. Today we looked at get your hands up, hands to target, and hold your depth when you're trying to catch that ball. These are junior rugby players, so it's really important that we keep the fun element going. That's why we keep popping back to those games and disperse with the drills, and hopefully we start seeing... Uh, the skill sets they're learning in those drills come out in these games. But as you can see by the entertainment stuff out here, they're loving what they're doing. And that's what rugby's about.